Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the S Promise S378 4G trail camera. So I've just unboxed it. This is everything that you get with it. Except uh, normally there is a manual, however they're in the process of printing up a new version. So until such time, all you need to do is just download a PDF manual from the website. So we've got the uh, standard antenna here. We've got a free 8 gig memory card that you get if you buy this from uh, proschoice.com.au. Strap to put it to a tree. The camera itself. We've got the USB cable to connect it to a computer so you can copy across the uh, video and photos from there. And last of all, we've got the extended range antenna which I'll definitely be using. So the uh, camera itself is an upgrade from the previous 3G version, uh, which was called the S358. This one here is obviously 4G. Uh, we've also got a mobile app that's available where you can actually uh, upload uh, media to the cloud and then use the app uh, to access it. But for me, the idea of getting these cameras is I like to have them set up so there's instant notifications to my mobile phone. Um, you know, I don't want to have to log into an app or have it emailed to me uh, to check things. I want to be notified instantly. So that's just me, but you've got those other options available. Now the dimensions on this is 15 centimeters by 12 centimeters uh, by 9 centimeters, and it weighs 380 grams. So um, yeah, it's not an overly heavy uh, camera by any means. Now the camo UV paint um, that you have on here um, does have that protection. Uh, from UV rays. So in other words, it's not going to fade uh, for up to three years, they guarantee it anyway. But I can assure you from the previous 3G version of this that I've got, the paint looks pretty much the same as it did the day I got it. Um, it hasn't faded at all and it's been in full sunlight. So I can't complain about that. Now the technical specs on this guys, um, it takes 12 megapixel uh, photos and also 1080p uh, video in 30 frames per second. So you can set it up for the actual video length um, up to 30 seconds, which obviously I'd prefer to have it at that maximum so that you know once this is triggered, it's going to capture the most footage possible for you. Now uh, with the photos, there is a burst of one to 10. You can set it to one to 10 photos. So um, you know, in other words, what I mean by that is say you have it set at 10. When this is triggered, it's going to take 10 photographs. Now what it does is it'll send um, one of the photographs to your actual uh, mobile phone or you know to email or whatever. Now it's got a 62 degree field of view, the detection range is 25 meters and the flash is up to 18 meters. So we've got these zero glow bulbs here so you're not going to see them of a night time. So if you are using this you know uh, <clears throat> as a game camera or a security camera it's just not going to have any effect on the person or the game. They're not going to be able to see it or get spooked by it. Now it's got uh, two-way communication. So in other words, it sends to your mobile phone, but you can also send from your mobile phone to the camera and uh, give it commands. Like for example, take a photograph um, you know, instantly. Uh, you can change different settings and so forth. And the manual lists a lot of that at the back of it, which uh, you know, it's really easy to understand. It, it's it's very straightforward. So one thing I find about this S Promise camera um, over the Scout Guard cameras. Now I like the Scout Guard as well. Um, they do have some advantages with the S Promise, but the S Promise definitely has the advantage of easier navigation and easier setup over the Scout Guard. I find so. Uh, yeah, I I'm sort of between the two, but um, both of them are very good. Now. Uh, this takes up to a 32 gig uh, SD card. So what I've found in the past is I've had problems with uh, XC SD cards, okay? Um, they've caused issues. So in other words, what'll happen is text will come through but there'll be no picture attached. Uh, where I've changed back to the HC SD card and no problem whatsoever. So that would be my recommendation uh, for an SD card. Now it does have the memory loop uh, overwrite, so in other words, once the memory card's full, it'll just start writing from the beginning again. It's water resistant too, so um, no problems there. Like I say, with the previous model once again, I mean, that's what I can reflect back to. Uh, I've had that out in storms and everything. <laughs> it's just not come inside at all, and uh, it's just performed uh, flawlessly. I really can't complain about it. 
So what I've also got for this guys is a um, solar setup. So I'll just show you a clip of that now. So as you can see, it's just in like a little Pelican case. You've got the battery. Then we've got the uh, solar panel itself and all the cables are already done. So all you need to do is just plug in the six volt cable and you know away you go. You don't need to be replacing batteries. So that's a very, very big bonus obviously because normally in these I use those um, lithium batteries and they're like $5 per AA battery. It's just insane. Um, so yeah, if you can get a solar set up by all means and uh, it's definitely what I would prefer to be using rather than paying out for the batteries. So when we open it up here guys, you can see that it uh, normally does take uh, 12 of the AA batteries and um, I've already got the 32 gig SD card put in but I've also got the SIM put in. Now for the SIM, like normally I use Telstra because I find the coverage is, is better, especially in the bush. Um, but something that is just as good but um, a lot cheaper is Belong, you know, and, and supposedly Telstra own them, it's like the cheaper version. So for $10 a month you can get like one gig of data and unlimited uh, SMS or MMS. So the data isn't really relevant because th that doesn't affect uh, SMS or MMS as such. So, you know, all I needed was a $10 a month plan. It comes up with Telstra on the actual camera and just works as if it was a Telstra card. So um, fully compatible from the testing that I've done, which is obviously gonna save you money. Now we've got a two inch um, LCD screen here. And as I say guys, really easy to navigate. So let me just plug in the actual solar now. So plug that in there. We'll just move the button up one to set up there. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly run through the um, actual setup procedures with you so that, um, you know, if you do get one of these, you've got an idea, um, you know, of how easy it is to set up. So it'll just go searching network, but you can just go to the menu and just start using it anyway. Obviously I haven't got the antenna uh, plugged in, but it'll still pick up some signal. So let's go to menu. So what I've got it set to here is um, photo and video. So the photo size, I want that at the maximum 12 megapixel. Photo burst is one. So in other words, if you're using video as well, guys, you can't have it like with 10 photos plus a video. It's only got to be one photo and then it'll record the video for whatever length of time that you put in. So what I've done here, obviously, is I've got the video size at 1080p and then I've got it running for 30 seconds. Okay, and sound on, obviously, because, you know, I want it to record with sound. So hit the menu button again so we can scroll over the next part of the menu. So sensitivity, normal. Now you can set that to high as well. Um, I just find normal as ample. Sometimes, um, you know, if you've got like leaves or branches, it will trigger it off. So I don't want it any more sensitive than what it is when it's on the normal setting. Now the uh, interval between uh, shots, now I've got that at zero seconds because I want it to take multiple shots while there's some game, you know, within the detection range. So scroll down, we don't need time lapse uh, or work days, we want it on all the time. So hit menu again, go over the next part. Now the clock, you enter in the uh, actual date, camera ID uh, on, so obviously the idea the camera will come up when it takes photos. Now we've also got GPS coordinates, um, I don't really find that relevant for me, but uh, you may like that, especially if you're using this um, you know, out on a very large property and you sort of forgot where it was, you know, GPS coordinates could be very, very handy. Uh, time stamp, I want that on so that I know the date and the time of when it takes the photos. Uh, the overwrite, we want that on so it's going to record from the beginning of the um, SD card once it's full. Uh, the beep, I've turned that off so in other words, when I'm hitting the arrows here, it's not going beep, beep, beep. Uh, LED indicator on, so in other words, when you turn this on at the front of the camera, it will uh, flash green for about 10 seconds, just to let you know that it's about to activate. Now, once it's turned on and activated, it, that doesn't mean that it's going to go green every time it uh, takes a picture. Hit. Like I say, with those zero glow bulbs, you will not see anything at all. Now you can uh, also do a firmware update, or you can format it, which obviously I've already done with this 32 gig card. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. You can put a password in as well, and then you've got uh, information there as well. So menu again, over to the wireless setting. So send uh, mode, we want instant because we want it to instantly send. We don't want to have to go to the camera and then check it. 
uh, send via MMS, so this is where you can put in send via email if you wish. Uh, send to, phone, uh, then obviously phone, you put in the number. Now you can put in a number of numbers, so if you've got like your partner or some family members that you'd also like to um, have received the photos, you can uh, do that there as well. And then obviously you can put in your email address. So uh, image triumph setup tool. Now setup tool here, if you do highlight that, what will happen is that it will write a little setup tool to the SD card. So then when you plug this in to your computer, uh, you can execute that setup tool. Now that is only for PC, okay? Uh, I've got Mac, so obviously that's not applicable for me. Uh, okay, so SMS control, we want that on as always because obviously we wanna always be able to talk to it and give it commands. And image quality. Now, this is where the S Promise lacks a little bit over the Scout Guard, I find. Um, when you're actually sending via MMS, they drop the quality down to 640 by 480 uh, with the S Promise. Um, you know, which, look, you'll still get the image and um, it's still, look, clear enough to make whatever it is out that's on that image. Um, but yeah, I find it not as good as the Scout Guard if you're zooming into like registration numbers or something like that. So if you were using it as a security device, um, just keep that in mind. But when you go and uh, check the camera, look, it's as clear as can be. You know, you've got photos in 12 megapixels. So um, yeah, it, it's up to you guys, but I'm just sort of talking about my own experiences, you know, having used a number of both brands of camera. So that's all good there. So we just hit uh, menu to exit completely. So you can see there it's picked up 4G already and that's even without the extended antenna on. So what I'll do guys is, um, look, I've done this before in different videos. Um, you don't need to be shown how to strap it to a tree. So what we'll do is we'll just get out on the farm now. I'll have it set up and uh, let's see what sort of pictures and video we can capture with this camera. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up my final thoughts on the uh, S Promise camera. Now, obviously there's a lot of advantages to it. And as you can see from the footage that you've just looked at, it is pretty high quality as well. Having a camera like this that works on the 4G or LTE networks is gonna carry over into the future with compatibility. Uh, a lot of people will know what I'm talking about if you've got some of the old 2G uh, cameras that are no longer compatible with our mobile networks. So, you know, it definitely works here in Australia. There's no problem, you can combine it with a cheap Belong mobile sim for ten dollars, and what a cheap way to uh, get some decent security, or you know, for other uses, game watching and so forth. 
Now, uh, price-wise, guys, for the camera, as you've seen it um, without the solar kit, $530, okay? So it's uh, down by a couple hundred dollars through uh, proschoice.com.au. Also, too, if you want a security box for this, you can get it, a steel security box. It's about $85. And then um, also, too, if you want to use the solar, which I highly recommend, $190 because you're going to save that instead of uh, forking out for those expensive lithium uh, AA batteries. So, uh, yeah, it just depends on which way you want to go with it, guys. But anyhow, hopefully this has shown you enough uh, in this review to make up your own mind about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.